Welcome back to Gajin Garage. We're just chilling out here at the hangout. My boy Damien came with me today. My daughter's friends. There's a lot of cars out here. A lot of old school Hondas too. It's a front hand drive Civic right over here. The white Civic. I know the owners. Another Civic right here. It's a little Del Sol running back there somewhere. That's another Civic. Oh, right there. Right over there, it's a K-Swap. Hey Damien, I think you're wrong, it's a K-Swap. Look at the intercooler. There's like the one Manny got. What's up guys welcome back to my channel and yeah last night we were in the hangout chilling and uh cops show up busted it out so you know that was part of my front of my video but today i have a mess to clean up here i just watched the crx let it the paint cool down so i can do the the waxing that i want to do and now I'm gonna wash this S2000 and dry it out because this water that I use here it stains the car all the time. So I gotta wash this car, detail it to the same to the S2000. I'm going to the CRX. I still gotta have some time today to work on that. And uh, I gotta take a hood because I'm selling it. And the wheels on the blue car and something else. So. Stay tuned, it's gonna be a little bit of everything today. I uh, hope you like it. Hey guys, let me tell you what I've been up to. The S2000 got clean, this one got clean and shine. Never got through that. So I started working on the SCRX because the speedometer has some work, right? Look what happened. Three wires. Let me tell you this, guys. I had this wire harness for whew, a couple years now. Decided to check it out why my speedometer is not working. I got three out. Adriana heard that she went to get some uh, sticks for the maybe get it back in there. Hopefully, um, this right here it is a project. I mean, I gotta take the hood, the doors, I mean, the, the wheels because uh, runs and everything just. The gasket's bad on it. And people are trying to dodge me on it. I got a guy say, oh, I'll give you a thousand bucks. Okay, fine, we'll pick it up. Never show up. I got another guy, oh, I'll give you this much. They show up. So if you offer up, you don't show up. Come on now. Uh, so that's my, my, my day so far. It's been, you know, a little bit stressed out here. All my details show on the floor. Let's see what happened, right? All right, all right. Has been past a couple, maybe four days already since the last time I worked on the CRX. All the harness issues that we got going on here. You can see right there, three of them broke. So, Adriana went to Amazon trying to get something like this 
Um, but what she doesn't know that dad always have extra parts playing around. And I got three perfect one out using this key right here. I had a set, but that one broke on me. So I have another set key, and I bought this one. This is for GM. Or something like this work too, you know, if you have the right thing. So let me explain to you in the car how this works. All right, guys. So the, the problem that I have right now is the three of those wires are black are out. And if you can see right here, one broke there, one broke there, one broke there. So instead of me going and ripping it up with a new wire welding them welding them what i did i extended it up so it's already there i was just gonna cut the end and attach it so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna take it out push the one in make sure it's the right you know the right in and leave it in there and then i connect it and i can turn power on see if everything else works if that does this homeboy is happy as hell because uh, I don't feel like spending another $400 in this harness. That's what I spent originally. Um, so the custom harness, because usually if you look at eBay, they send you one, they're not custom, they're like little roofing. I'm doing it on that CRX right there. I really don't like it, I like this better. But with that said, I'm gonna jump on it. It took me two and a half hours to take three little wires out. So I'm gonna pause the camera and I'm gonna go at it. I wanna show you, I'm gonna put the camera to record so you can see how he, how long it takes to do this. But remember, I wanna speed it up so you can see it, all right? Stay tuned. Oof, been over 30 minutes already. So basically, you put this up like here, like this, and you can see the pins in there. And then you gotta put it right there. You gotta play with it and wiggle it, and you're gonna feel it gonna go clack, and that's releasing the, the little. And that is releasing. You see this right here in the bottom. Can I see it? Right there in the bottom is a, this right here to click so you release that and you can pull it out and that's what i'm trying to do all right guys got one out see how it looks so now this is what i'm doing in case it happens to you guys setting cutting yourself short leave it on you see how i got these right here so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna you know add it to it like that and i'm gonna check for power and all that now it's on that when you're done i got two two more to do but when you're done you clip this on and then you're able to do whatever you want to do cut this off with a wire then you can weld on whatever you want to do but this is how i want to do it the easiest way something happens i don't have to mess with this no more it's outside then i just gotta you know what i mean convert it Woo! all right so i got it working as you can see that was not working at all and this is what i did all right this is what i did basically i use that right there that 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 so i can match them up now i'm going to weld them up seal them everything will be good to go put it back together 
and uh, hopefully my speedometer works now. But the problem was that I would not have a speedometer because he had a, after a calibrator and everything, he did had a, um, what's I'm gonna call it? We find out of the ground, we had a problem on the ground. So we fixed the ground, now I fixed the ground, hopefully everything goes back to normal to work, you know what I mean? So let's get to it, right? All right, guys, I kind of fixed it what I need to be fixed. Let me show you. I have it welded or nothing? I have it welded or nothing because I want to make sure that that is, um, what's it called? I want to make sure that that's the problem. The problem that I have is the speedometer that hasn't worked since I built the car. It is a Type S, I mean, five speed on a manual from the 05 to 06. I had this custom made, but never worked since it came in. The, the speedometer, uh, revving works, fuel works, temperature works, my trunk, e-brake, everything else works, except the speedometer. I try everything, make sure everything, I took it apart like it happens, and I broke it. Now, I might have to invest in another one, just for the re just for the box. Maybe my box is bad, I don't know. Maybe it can affect it, I don't realize, didn't realize it. So, today I'm gonna order another one later on. You see what happened but right now i left it alone i turn it on you can see the gauge move you see everything moving but i don't have what i need of the speedometer working i wish my speedometer worked that would be so cool but i was gonna work on the crx next door it comes to rain bro i got the s2000 park over here because i was testing driving the car but all right, guys, I was just going to say goodbye. I did fix it, fixed my problem with my thing. Um, it's nothing very well. I'm going to post this video, and then hopefully that helps anybody. If anybody have an idea why my speed armor doesn't work, please comment below. Hit me up. I need, really, I would love to have my speed armor working. Peace.